world Hello world Hello my friends Hello my sisters Hello my brothers That's not a song Maybe I should write a song about the world Hey Fingers down my side I'm going to talk about my frustrations as an actress. Here we go guys, here we go. Go get a snack. Actually it's not going to be a long one because I don't have that many frustrations but go get a snack anyway or go get your Sunday breakfast. So obviously the first frustration I have is the rejection but to be honest it's not a massive frustration like it's not number one on my list basically. Oh yeah by the way I got my new hair, got my hair did if um, some people if you don't watch my vlogs so I would have said it there but got my hair did hope you like it but yeah anywho so yeah so the rejection but it's not that it is annoying to get rejected but at the end of the day it helps you grow as a person um, you also learn from the rejections and learn what you did might have done wrong in that audition or casting um, and also like with the rejection most of the stuff you might just not be suited for that part and in life you're not suited for everything so I do think even if you get rejected there's gonna be a yes at the end of the day somewhere because you're gonna sue a part somewhere that someone has written so my next frustration is probably about taking roles or applying for roles that actually don't pay a lot or don't pay at all which you just have to do when you're starting out at the end of the day because getting doing those roles and if you get them as well builds your credits because not everything that you're going to audition for if it's like quite high up like I don't know a big tv show or something they're not always going to take you and the more smaller part like the smaller productions like to help each other out so starting out writers starting out directors starting out actors actors like to help each other out and then not everyone can pay because obviously we're all starting out so you do have to take those um, those opportunities as well to build your credits so that you can obviously have a good looking portfolio and also if you do take those opportunities you can have them for your showreel which costs a lot of money to do if you want to do it professionally which I'll talk about later but yeah if you do those opportunities they can go towards your showreel so they don't even have to pay for your showreel which is a really good bonus but and then but still it is a frustration because you want to, this is your job, you want to get paid in what you want to do. So obviously, if you're filming and doing stuff that doesn't pay much, you have to have another part-time job just to balance it out. And obviously, because you're filming, you don't get paid, that money for travel stuff is coming out of your own pocket, which is quite hard, but... Oh well, my next frustration is about building up your credits. So obviously, you want your credits to look quite full? No, not full. You want your credits to look, you want your resume to look like you've done a lot of things basically. So you need to apply for loads of jobs and stuff and you want them to take you. But then they don't, some jobs, some casting directors don't want to take you because you don't have any or don't have much credits. But then to build, you want me to have a lot of credits but how am I supposed to have a lot of credits if you don't take me? Oh, that is a big frustration so obviously that's when the opportunities, the ones that don't pay come into the mix but still like you need to give me a chance basically so if you want me to have credits you need to take me as well so I can have the credits. You get what I mean? You get what I mean. So my next frustration is about not having any connections especially if your family doesn't do anything like in the entertainment industry so you're basically working from scratch to build those connections and so meeting different people in different jobs and opportunities that you do but then it's so hard because you have to try and break into that industry without any connections whereas some people and um, you might be so talented but if you don't have any connections connections that takes um, then it takes even longer to break into the industry whereas some people um, their dad might be a radio presenter or so forth an actress I never know so forth so forth and it's so easy for them to like audition for a friend of the family and then they'll get somewhere so 
for me, because my family doesn't do anything in the entertainment industry, I have to start from scratch and try and like um, remain in contact with everyone that I've worked with over the past, well, year basically since I've come out of uni. So yeah. Okay, so my biggest frustration is money with this. So basically money pays, <laughs> money pays, get it? <laughs> money pays such a large part in what we do. So you need money to get your headshots, you need money to do a showreel possibly, you need money to um, sign up to the big casting websites such as Spotlight and CCP and all these things woo, woo, woo. <laughs> cost a lot of money. So if you don't have a supportive family or anything that can't help you out, then obviously you have to pay for it all yourself. Where but my family is quite supportive, so my mum helps me out quite a lot. But yeah, so if you don't have a supportive family, they, you obviously have to do it all by yourself. So obviously, you want to... Um, you want your name to be on those casting sites such as Spotlight and CCP but then they cost like, I don't know, 150 each per year or something like that so <clears throat> that is quite pricey if you think about it but you do want your name to be in those books so that um, agents and casting directors, directors and writers can see you on those sites but obviously how do you get the money? Obviously you have to work so that's a, so that's why it's a bit annoying that those sites are so expensive because because if you're a student yeah you get discount but why does it have to be so expensive when you're not even there's not even any guarantee that you'll get a job from it and it's even more important to sign up to those sites because even if you don't and then you find auditions elsewhere they do normally ask for your spotlight pin or ccp page so those sites are so important but then you might not even have the money to get onto those sites, which, ah, it's annoying. So, also with the money is the headshots and showreels. So, obviously, if you want a really, really good showreel, they could cost like £700, basically. But, if you're smart, which I think, if you're starting out, you shouldn't pay for those showreels because it's just too expensive. At the end of the day, you should have material from things that you've already done. But yeah, or if you're gonna do something like that, then you might as well just get your friend to do it and then it's free. That's what I did. I got my friend Elliot, if you're watching, thank you. I got my friend Elliot to um, film my showreel for me and then just had scenes that we, uh, my, like my sister wrote and stuff because she wants to be a writer, but yeah. Um, my sister wrote and then we filmed it with some of my friends and yeah, so it was just a lot cheaper. Uh, well, no money at all and especially because I'm starting out so that was really great for me and then now when I apply for things like, um, when you apply for things they always ask for your showreel so that I could just send that over and they know it's obviously not going to be anything special because I'm starting out but at least they can see what I'm about like see how I act and things like that and also with the headshots, they, when you apply for things, they also ask for your headshots as well. So you need to find connections or someone that does cheap headshots or a suitable headshot because you don't want to start paying £250 for a headshot for three pictures when you're starting out. It's just not worth it, I think. You might as well, for starting out, you should start cheap, basically. When you get quite experienced and can afford those things, then sure, go for it. But right now, when you start out, you should be trying to save money and grind, basically. If you find that person that does cheap headshots, ask them, and then, simple. But it's still annoying that headshots and showreels are so expensive. I know everyone needs to make a living, but I need to make a living as well. But, at the end of the day, the heart wants what it wants. The heart wants what it wants, and I wanna act. So if you're going into acting, you have to understand these things and be prepared for them or you're just, if you're not prepared, you're just going to fail or give up. So you have to keep going, be prepared, never give up as they say, never going to give you up, never going to let you down and run turn around and deserve you. So thank you for watching my acting Sunday video, hope you enjoyed it, have a chill Sunday and I'll catch you later, bye.